Hi, Russ of Aquarimax here. You know, it can actually be kind of challenging to accurately measure the length of a pet snake. Okay, and now align yourself in a perfectly straight line right alongside the ruler. Take your time. I'll wait. But I recently discovered a free resource that can make the process much easier, and I'd like to share that with you today. The free resource is a website called serpwidgets.com. I'll put a link down in the description. I got permission from the creator of the website to share this with you. It's a really simple process. Basically, get your snake and then get an object of known length. In my case, I just decided to use a ruler. Set them down on the same flat surface and then take a picture that includes both of them from directly overhead. Once you've done that, you upload that picture to the website. Now, the next step is to mark off the length of the known object. In my case, I marked off 12 inches on the ruler. Once you've done that, you switch over to measuring the snake. Starting from the tip of the snake's snout, and going all the way, of course, to the tip of the tail, you gradually tap on different spots right along the spine of the snake. And once you've finished with that, your snake has been measured and you can read the length of your snake down at the bottom of the screen. It's that simple. I think this is a lot easier than trying to put the snake into a clear tube of the proper diameter and length, assuming you have one, or of trying to get the snake to stand still next to a ruler. Of course, you would never want to force the snake out straight. That could hurt your snake. And uh, it's a lot easier than trying to use a piece of string or something like that. You might be able to do that if you had enough hands helping you, but there's no guarantee the snake would stay still for something like that. So really, there are some unique challenges to measuring the length of a pet snake as opposed to a lot of other creatures. But I think this app was a pretty good solution for me. So if you ever are curious about measuring a snake, why don't you give serpwidgets.com a try? Thanks for watching today. I post videos every Wednesday and Friday, all on aquarium and vivarium pets. Please feel free to share, rate, comment, and if you haven't already, subscribe. And then click the bell icon so you don't miss my next video. Note to self. Verbal persuasion is highly ineffective with species lacking external ears. Sure is a beautiful snake, but he just shed his skin. I can't do a thing with him. I'll bet you were the kind of corn snake who colored outside the lines in kindergarten, weren't you? I just wanted to show you something really funny. I just put our corn snake back in his enclosure. He started climbing down into the aspen shavings. And he left his tail behind. <laughs> he just kind of forgot, I guess. And his tail is just sticking straight up here. Um, while the rest of him is, most of the rest of him is buried in the aspen shavings. You can see a little bit of him right there. This is kind of exploring back over here, but I've never seen him do this before. He just kind of forgot his tail. It's kind of funny.